Hey, welcome back to GS Pro version 2 tips. Today we're going to talk about two particular topics. One is a new feature in the driving range that allows you to randomize your shots and your distances. As you know, when you open up the driver range, the first thing you see is a 416 yard shot straight down the middle. And if you're like most golfers, you just simply grab whatever club that you want to hit, 7 iron, 165 yards, and you just go and you never really adjust the slider. You just kind of look at what the distances are on the data tiles that are in the game. What if you had a randomizer where every five shots, GF Pro would select a different distance for you? What if I could show you a way to export that data, make that data usable, and then bring it into a third party analyzer? This would allow you to make much more use out of your practice, be able to detail, track, and keep an eye on progress as you work on different clubs, different shots. This will give you a lot more usability than just simply whacking a bucket of balls. Before we jump in, if you would all do me a favor and subscribe down below, like this video, but most importantly, leave me a comment or you can send me a message on Facebook. You can send me a message in Discord. And let me know ideas that you may have for future videos. If there are topics that I've already covered that you would like to be covered again, but more in depth, go ahead and jump right out there and let me know. I'll happily give it a whirl and see about uh, doing the, uh, the video that you are asking for. If you don't ask, the answer is automatically no. So please let me know what you want to see more ideas, more content, more details, more deep dives, but please subscribe and share my videos wherever they may be. Without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at the driving range and this new randomizer feature. All right, here we are at our standard GS Pro driving range. Nothing too spectacular about it. We have already covered data tiles in the past. We've already covered those. We have also covered in the driving range these particular data tiles as well that you can also set up and change and move about. But what about this new feature right here, the little cross arrows that you see right over here? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at that and we're going to turn that feature on by clicking those arrows. And now you can see that it's green. Now it's green. Now, one of the points that I talked about is exporting the data in a format that's going to be usable. Now, you, you might not be hitting a 57 yard sand wedge. Maybe you're, you're using a lob wedge. Maybe you're using a gap wedge. Whatever that is, select the club that you're hitting. Now, as I take these quick shots, I am in mouse mode, but of course, you'll have a golf club in your hand. So I might not be hitting this the best that there is. And I'm also going to use fast forward to make the shots go faster. Fast forward, if you don't know, is using the space bar. So this is our third shot. Fast forward um, will help you out in these types of instances. All right. Now I have 93. If I select a new club, with 93, let's just go with a sand wedge, right? And see what kind of shots I can hit there. Uh, it's too far, right? Too short. Not very good in mouse mode at all. Too far. But you get the idea here. 152, select a new club. Let's just select a nine iron. And of course, I'm hooking the mess out of it, right? And the reason I'm doing this, though, is that 
the data is going to be annotating which club that you're using. 270, we will select the driver, hit a couple shots, and see what's happening. Let's hit a three wood just for the grins and giggles, right? I didn't get that a very good shot, but it's a hell of a three wood, isn't it? Point being is that, again, the data is just all about collecting the right data for what we want to use. Once we get those shots taken and we're getting our um, spreadsheet filled out for exporting, that was a good one. Now we're at 207. So we're going to stop right here. Now, if you look in the upper left-hand corner, there's a clipboard right next to the quick CTP. You click on that. And it's going to bring up all the shots that we just took. What I want to emphasize is, is in the second column here, it shows what golf club we use because we took the extra time to select the club in the interface. That way, we whatever club is in our hand, the data will be corresponding with that particular club. If you don't like a particular shot, for instance, we don't want this driver to be here because we actually wanted to use our three wood. Clicking the trash can will delete that shot from our list, just like that. Of course, these averages and numbers at the bottom are going to be pretty meaningless in this particular environment, in this particular demo, because we've used a sand wedge, a nine iron, and a three wood. So that's not a very good picture at all. So export. Let's export this, and as you can see, it has been safely exported to our desktop. And there it is, right? Perfect, right there. Now, once that export is finished, you can clear this out. And to do so, click on the trash can down here at the very bottom that's in the blue summary line. And that will clear out the entire sheet ready for a new session. Now, if you haven't already downloaded or haven't even heard of Golf Shot Analyzer, it used to be called the R10 Analyzer. One of the folks in our community has written a bunch of code and created this free analyzing software application that will receive the data exported from GS Pro. It has been continually worked on for quite a while now, been revamped, it's been updated, features have been added as people have asked for them. Please give it a look, give it a download. Um, it's called Golf Shot Analytics, golfshotanalytics.com. Give it a look and see what you think. But for now, I'm going to show you how to quickly import the data that we just exported into Golf Analytics, Golf Shot Analytics. This is not a video to deep dive into the application, but this is just merely to show you what you can do with your GS Pro data that is from the driving range. And I hope that by using this application, by using the spreadsheet, the export function, the randomizer, that this will give you a much more functional, useful method of practice in analyzing the data that's going to help you get better and give you some additional data points to discuss with your coach, your swing coach, um, whoever that may be. All right, once we open up Golf Analyzer after we've installed it, you'll see that we have um, basically a blank canvas here. No sessions, zero shots. So quickly and easily come over here and import, import your GS Pro data. Click on the button that says import your GS Pro data. Select your spreadsheet. And now, now you'll see that the data is either going to be in yards, feet for your height, and miles per hour for your speed. Give the session a name, GS Pro V2 Tips video. And it's going to show us 
that 19 shots were imported. Now that we have the data here, what can you do with the data? Well, there's some menus up here. You can look at your session data. You can see a dispersion. You can look at, uh, oops, sorry. You can look at your clubs overview. You can look at your progress. You can look at frequency. You can look at correlations, which I think crashes it right now. Um, and lastly, you can look at your trajectories. So these are different things that you can do. There's plenty of buttons to play around with here. Things to go and define, buttons to click, things to look at. Totally up to you. Totally up to you. Again, this video is not for the deep dive of how to use this particular product, but simply that the product is available and gives you a useful tool to analyze your GS Pro range data. So to wrap things up, Randomizer, new in GS Pro. Subscribe, like, share, comment, give me some ideas, and keep coming back and watching. Appreciate you taking the time today to look over this quick video, and hopefully it has helped explain the randomizer, how to turn it on, and a good way to save your data during these range sessions. Thanks, and I'll talk to you next time.